So, well, for any one of you that doesn't know, well, Colombia, we are in the north part of South, South America. Uh, it's a country that still has a, a majority of indigenous cultures in different parts of the country, the Amazon, the Sierra Nevada. Uh, this is a, a maloca, which is a, a traditional meeting house in the, in the Amazon of Colombia where indigenous meet to have their, their meetings. Uh, we get one of the products that we are getting and using in the restaurant is this type of chili that it's called Guaya. It's an Amazonian chili that is used for medicinal purposes and also for cooking. Uh, it's extremely spicy. We help this community to, to sell their, their product in little jars. It's usually smoked and dried. In, so we sell them in, in the restaurants in little jars and we also use them in some of the dishes for cooking. Uh, well, th this is actually really important. The, this is the coca leaf. I mean, uh, we are very famous in Colombia, outside of Colombia, for cocaine, and which is really sad. I mean, if you want to offend a Colombian outside of Colombia, which is a little bit like a, jo like a joke, but I find it, uh, you know, very offensive. And is we are very recognized for cocaine, which is a product that comes from the coca leaf, but it's a totally different uh, relationship with the coca leaf. The, the coca leaf is the most sacred plant for indigenous cultures in Colombia, in Peru, and Ecuador. They use it for, as inspiration, for medicine, uh, for working in the land. Uh, the, the, the indigenous men, they, they go and work in their farms, uh, uh, shoeing the coca leaf. They also use it for long walks in the mountains and, 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 and really the meaning of the coca leaf is, is totally, it's got a really bad interpretation outside of our country. So this is very important for us. Uh, indigenous women working with their kids in the, in the Amazon forest. This is tapioca that, uh, as you know, here the Southeast Asian tapioca is also used from the cassava, the yuca in, in the Amazon of Colombia. They use it for, for, for cooking and as food. And well, as some of you know, Colombia is the seventh country in the world with the, with the majority of diversity in, in plants, animals, fruits, so we are a very diverse uh, country. This is a uh, coposu. It's an Amazonian fruit uh, that we. It's 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 it, it's a fruit. It's totally a wild fruit from the Amazon. We don't we don't uh, farm the fruit. We we use it in in some of the juices and the ice creams in the restaurants. This is another Amazonian fruit called a uh, arasa. It's also a wild fruit from the Amazon that we drink in juice, uh, very aromatic. And cacao, uh, Colombia has a lot of uh, native cacao that is used. We consume a lot of uh, hot chocolate in Colombia and we are also starting to export uh, some of the cacao. A lot of the cacao production in Colombia is still organic. Uh, the, it's important that a lot of these Amazonian fruits and cacao we don't have such a thing as it's still not classified as organic or non-organic. Most of these uh, fruits they've been organic and they, they, it's still a, an organic production. We don't have a, it's starting to come into the country like cer uh, organic certifications, fair trade certifications. But more important for us is, is, is the relationship that we have with the farmers, that the people that farm, work on the land, the fruits, not so much the certification. Like a lot of the, the small farmers in Colombia, they cannot afford to pay an organic certification, an organic 
fair trade certification. So we don't really focus in, in, in the certification they have. We, what we call our certification is a, a trust certification, knowing the farmer, knowing where they coming from, and, and, and meeting with them and, and having a face-to-face -face relationship with, with from, the, from the, the, where the fruit is, is coming from. Well, this is, Colombia is a very, has loads of mountains, so it's, it, this is a, an organic farm near Bogota, where I come from. This is another like, very nice uh, supplier, uh, organic supplier in the savanna of Bogota. She's also a supplier from us. Also in a different climate of the country, a little bit more, a little bit hotter. Uh, what I didn't tell you at the beginning, but the, the main focus of, of our restaurant is we actually are focusing Southeast, Southeast Asian food. So this is a, a very small project that we have in Sierra Nevada in the north part of Colombia. This is actually Galanga, uh, Thai Galanga that that uh, grown in Colombia. Like if you see Colombia and Southeast Asia, we are more or less in the same equatorial line. So a lot of the, or basically all of the products that grow in Southeast Asia, they also grow in Colombia. We, we share the same, almost the same climate and, and very similar uh, soil and the mountains too. So this is uh, Cristobal, he's, uh, he's, he started, we support Cristobal with this project, starting with developing the, the Galangal seed. It's, totally organic. Uh, we support him, him for the first two years in reproducing the, the Galangal seed in Colombia until he actually had a small production that he kind of started selling as the, the Galangal and now uh, he sent to the restaurants in Bogota once a week uh, he, a very small production of Galangal that we use uh, for cooking in, in the restaurant. Uh, this guy is in the, in the south of Colombia, in the Putumayo region. Uh, this is one of the very interesting projects that he works in a, in a, in a crop replacement uh, project in Colombia. Is a lot of the, the cocaine plantations in Colombia, they've been replaced for projects like where he works in. Is, he works in a turmeric and green peppercorn project which is a, an illicit, illegal uh, play, uh, crop replacement project in Colombia that we are also very focused on them. He's, he runs the green pepper uh, project in, in the same region of Colombia and he's been very successful they working with them and they stop working in, in cocaine plantations and they, they send the, this is a, a palm heart green peppercorn and turmeric, fresh from, from the Putumayo region, which is in the south of Colombia. Uh, this is also very important. Uh, we, Colombia has a long history of violence. Uh, five year, 500 years ago, the Spaniards came into Colombia. Uh, they basically, all the indigenous cultures in, in Colombia, they were taken by the Spaniards. Uh, we've been having continuously violence in the country uh, from the marijuana uh, here in the 50s and 70s in Colombia, then all the, the cocaine came into the country and it was like the, the cocaine hero uh, era in Colombia. So, so we win all the, I mean, it's important that the local food in Colombia and local farming in Colombia has been very affected by the violent conflict in, in, the, in the country. The farmers and indigenous, they've been moved away from their farms, from their uh, farmland, uh, because the conflict has been there, the guerrilla groups, they've been hiding from, from, from the conflict in these very deep uh, forest uh, parts of the, of the country, where a lot of the local farmers and the indigenous cultures live. 
This is this is a project uh, which is called Valle en Paz in a region of Colombia where it used to be a lot of violence, a lot of uh, guerrilla groups. It's, it's, it's also an important project. They've been, the farmers, they've been back to the land. They, most of them work in cacao plantations. And this is like a little uh, school where some of the kids uh, live in this part of the country. What I was telling you before, all the illicit crop replacement, the green peppercorns, uh, fresh turmeric. Well, a lot of these products, when we started the restaurant, we, we have the necessity of importing them. Uh, we've been within the years changing the, the stop importing products from, from Asia, from Thailand, and replacing them for local uh, farm products in the, in the country. We are also working with uh, artisanal fishing, uh, Handline fishing, we, we support the communities, uh, helping them with responsible fishing practices, we support them with uh, social practices in their community, uh, seeing where the, the money goes to, because a lot of the fishermen in Colombia, they, they drink all their money they receive, so we work with them in helping them, uh, uh, working with the family, what is happening with the money they are getting, so we go a little bit deeper into, into their families and their social lives. They go fishing in very small canoes. Uh, it's totally line fishing. Uh, we work with them in the Pacific Ocean of Colombia and also Atlantic Ocean. Like local fishermen. And this is the end, the, the, basically what, what we have realized during the years is that, that restaurants are an amazing uh, hub for relationships. I mean, we are a, a company located in a, in a city which is Bogota, it's a nine million city growing very fast. Colombia is a country that at the moment is international investment is very focused. In, in developing in Colombia, there are the, the U.S. crisis and the American crisis, uh, sorry, the European crisis, uh, they are looking where to put their money. And Colombia is one of these countries in South America where the economy is doing really well. So it's is, is really sad in a way, but Colombia is growing very fast at the moment. A lot of this money has been put in, in, into the country. So, we are, you know, we, we, we realize that we are an, an amazing place for communication, for relationships with the farmers, the local fishermen, employees, uh, customers. So we communicate all the time what we are doing with the different uh, projects in Colombia to the customers. We have more or less a, a million, 500 uh, customers a year. Uh, and it's been very successful how we can create change through a restaurant group in a, in a place like, like, like Bogota. Uh, customers are valuing what we are doing. Uh, our direct competition are the big multinationals. We compete with, how you call here, the corporations like McDonald's, KFC. They are all coming into Colombia very fast, growing very fast. Uh, doing really well, they compete with very, very cheap prices, very bad quality food, but they, they are very cheap. So, so they are our direct competition, and I think we, we are uh, holding there, uh, doing really well. I, I, I think customers are really appreciating the work we are doing. And, well, I just wanted to end, uh, well, telling you, I mean, it's, it's amazing to be here in Australia. It's amazing to be here in Byron Bay. Uh, I have appreciated being by the sea since I'm a little kid, uh, coming here and looking at, at the sea and the surfers. And it's been like a dream to me to, to be in a, in a remote place by the sea and enjoy this type of life. Uh, my reality is different. I was born in Bogota. 
the reality of uh, a country that is developing, developing very fast. Uh, I wake up a lot of the days of the month wanting to live in a little farm outside of Bogota, have my own vegetable garden. Uh, sometimes I dream about going to live in one of the fisherman communities in Colombia. I love the sea, so I, I sometimes I, I think, you know, why, why I'm here in this big city, loads of traffic, and, and I guess what holds me to, to being in Bogota is that is the place for me to create change. And it's nine million people, it's a lot of people. Uh, we have what, what I call in Colombia, uh, we are in the mouth of the lion. I mean, it's like, it's, it's a very difficult position to be. Uh, I feel like a, I am an activist and a businessman, and at the same time, I am a businessman and an activist. Uh, I have realized that, that I, all the time I'm thinking if, if we should keep growing with the business. It's a question that comes to me every day and I have uh, all the time a contradiction if to stop, to carry on. And I guess it's, it's a diffi difficult answer for me. Uh, the answer that I have now is that I should keep growing. Uh, if, if we don't do it, the other corporations will do it. Uh, we are growing and transmitting the message of local food. Uh, we treat very well our employees, uh, worry about where the food is coming from. So, so it's, a, it's a hard question to, to, to resolve to me is if to stop growing or, or to keep growing. So I guess the, the question for the moment is, is to keep growing in Colombia. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>